Today I'm trying out one of the new FSR3 injection mods that have become available recently. This one is currently um, paywalled behind a Patreon account and I can provide a link in the description down below. Um, it's still in development so there will be bugs, there will be sort of things that uh, don't look quite right. But it should give us a general idea of how FSR 3 would perform if it was included in the game. So instantly I can see, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that there's a, a bit of jittering going on in the heads up display. Um, I guess this wouldn't happen if the developers had implemented FSR 3, uh, because they would do the FSR 3 and then overlay the HUD on the result, I would I would presume. But um, I'm running at 800p, I'm running at 30 watts TDP, and let's have a little swing around the town, just to see how, how that frames per second stacks up. So here, we're over 100 frames per second. The game's looking good on this screen and um, I don't know what more to say this is this is absolutely surprising I expect there to be some visual art artifacting as we go around but you'd get that anyway with FSR 2 but what we're, we're getting here is the frame generation from FSR 3 Smoothing, smoothing out the frames per second. So, yesterday, I'm, I'm pretty sure we were kind of hitting about 60 frames per second, but high 50s. And now we're, we're experiencing sort of double that, um, which is fantastic. Now, obviously at 800p, this was super smooth. But what I did find is at 25 watts, it lost some of that smoothness and we had more sort of spikes in FPS. So what I'm actually going to do, I'll just get onto a building, is I'm going to swap now to, um, I'm going to unplug and go to 20 watts TDP, so lower than we did yesterday. Um, so let me just get the settings for that. And power, and so we're going to go down to performance. So performance is 20 watts TDP. Okay, let's give it a little second or two to settle. Okay, let's swing around again. Okay. Well, you can see we've dropped under the 100 at times here, but we're still getting 100 frames per second. And it, and it does feel a little bit stuttery. Um, so you, you probably could live with it, but I would probably give it 25 watts. Let's see how it performs under 25 watts. Okay. So let's go to custom. Oh, bang on, 25 watts. So let's let's start swinging again. Okay, so that smooth things out. It feels. Um, and we're, we're sort of between eighty and over a hundred frames per second. And the game still looks good. Um, I don't think it changes my recommendations any that, you know, I would, if I was anywhere near a battery, um, uh, sorry, a PowerPoint, I would plug in and play at 30 watts. Okay, so. You can see we're getting quite a high frame rate when we're not moving around quite so drastically through the city. 
and um, the jittering on the HUD isn't too bad. But let's um, up the resolution on the game. Let's go up to 1200p. Ah, sorry, I think I have to change to 1200 here and then go into the game and change to 1200. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and reload and then I'll show you the 1200p gameplay. So I'm back. Um, this has become a, a little bit temperamental. It crashed a couple of times while I'm trying to load up. I had to go into the settings um, prior to loading and, and set it to 1200p. But let's see if the game plays now. So let's check settings. So yeah, I'm in 1200p and um, AMD FSR 2.1 it says, but I've replaced that with the FSR 3 generation. So let's go back and test this at 1200p. And what I'll do um, is I'll get into the game and I will change the, the, the TDP, I'll, I'll change the TDP to 25 watts. No point changing down to 20 watts. So, um, power wise, we are on 25 watts. Okay, perfect. Right, let's go. So at 1200p, we definitely, we've, we've got a boost, but not as much. Um, but at 25 watts, it, it feels a lot smoother than um, when it didn't have FSR 3. So this looks really good. Oh, you can see the jittering on the, the announcements there. Anything that's on the heads-up dis display. Um, but I do stress that this is very much in development at the moment. It's probably not something that um, the faint of heart sh should play around with just yet. But it gives a really good indication of what the fu future holds for, for gaming on these devices. FSR 3 is just going to going to help so much with making games that are borderline playable playable and just improve the experience on others Boom. okay so I guess the final thing we want to look at is 1600p I don't expect great things from that but um Actually, what I should do is put this on power and do 30 watts. See what the frame rate goes up to on that. So, let us go to 30 watts. Okay, so I'll get rid of the dual overlay. So yeah, we've got higher frame rates now on the 30 watt TDP. Very, very smooth, uh, very playable. Okay, so let us go on to 1600p. And I think yesterday um, I didn't bother with 25 watts. Let's just put it on 1600 full power and see what FSR 3 is doing for us. I may have to pause the video and restart the game, um, just seeing. Okay, yeah, so 
it doesn't have the option because I think I started this when I was in 1200 native. So we'll do this again and I'll probably have to pause and restart. I'll try to... I'm flying pretty close to blind. I want to look for towers to active. So let's just see. We might get lucky. No. Okay, so I shall pause and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, we're back. So let me just um, check the settings. So display and graphics, we're 2560 by 1600. Now, yesterday I dropped down from quality to balanced for this resolution. But I'm going to keep it on quality and I'm going to take a tour around the streets and see if it's playable on 1600p at 30 watts. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is more like it. 50 plus frames a second nearly 60 frames per second um, quality settings smooth as butter it's a bit cliched I know now but definitely smooth as butter and so I think my conclusion yesterday was that I would probably play this at 1200p uh, p plugged in but I think FSR3 has changed my mind on that plugged in I would definitely go with 1600p 30 watts. Yes, definitely. So, whoops, knocked the camera. I do apologize. So, this was just a real quick uh, test. I just got access this to, to this now. Um, like I say, I'll put a link to the the uh, Patreon page of the mod owner if you'd like to um, try this out for yourself. If not, if you'd like to see me try out FSR3 on some of the other games I own, um, please let me know in the in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to, to try it out on them. I'll probably be doing some videos of others anyway. I definitely want to try this out on The Last of Us, kind of uh, one of my favourite games. Um, so this, in conclusion, this looks really bright for the future of these handheld devices. Uh, thank you for watching.